hi uh, this is a steer engine in this video we are going to see uh, how the uh, node red uh, um, is used for uh, mqkd server uh, so what how we can write the code what are the library file we need it then how we can uh, make the connections and uh, where we can see the output so already uh, i have uploaded uh, two videos that is uh, node red installation and also node red uh, dashboard creation uh, i have uploaded the video so you can refer the video because uh, um, after creating the dashboard only uh, we can send the data to the mqkt server then whatever the um, topic we have selected we have to mention in the code also so now i will show the uh, what is the flow we have taken so flow 1 already we have created this so this mqkt server is test.mosquito.org colon 1883 then the topic is led i have taken uh, in the same way in the flow 2 we have taken the uh, subscription topic is pub topic so this only i have mentioned in the code uh, now we will see the output now these two we have created in flow 1 tab 1 then flow 2 it is tab 2 now after deploying we are getting this this is the tab 1 for voltage measurement and tab 1 is for um, switch control led control and tab 2 is for voltage measurement sensor output voltage it will measure so this display only we will get it and also we can control this led from this uh, uh, code now from this walk we uh, we are connecting this potentiometer already i have uploaded uh, uh, esp32 with analog sensor same connection only we have made uh, now uh, here this is the code we have to use wifi dot h and then pub sub client dot h so this two library we can add it by add new library so y5 just search it you will get this uh, wifi library so that library you have to add it and also publish sub client that library also we have to add it then only this code will work so we have to simply click on this and then add these two library in your window so it will come as library text you will it will come these two header file will come okay then here what we guessed so how we can get this ssid and password uh, that is we can run that uh, wifi um, test connection by face scan connection then we can um, enter this ssid and the password is open password so no need to give the password then mqkt server already i told um, uh, test.mosquito.org only we have to connect we have to use so already we have uh, uh, in the node red we have mentioned the same org and then port also 1883 so if you have doubt you can check this one so see here test.mosquito.org then port number is 1883 so same thing you can use it here also uh, then which pin you are connecting here default some username and password you give and then uh, you can mention that adc pin number and then led pin number then you have to write wifi client esp client and then pub sub client and then client of esp client so these are the code uh, it is available in the website only these two things you have to include then remaining thing or it is uh, readily available so you can uh, get the code and small changes whatever the topic you are mentioning here led is the topic i am mentioning so whatever topic you want you can change it here so the code you can get it from the website topic you can change it and 
here message whatever you want that is also you can change it so message on and off and for reference you can uh, go through that um, node red installation and then dashboard creation so there we have mentioned everything so subscribe led uh, this is the code reconnect code you have to use it connection fault then it is reconnect fault and then here in the setup file you have to set up adc pin num pin is input and then led is output and then you have to check that wi-fi status because it is running in the wi-fi connection only then client dot connected connect for connecting to mqtt server then subscribe will be led then in the loop we have to uh, write the coding for uh, analog sensor output so here sensor output we are in terms of thousand so the value will be um, we have to check uh, in terms of uh, four point volt that is uh, the value is in terms of millivolt so we are changing it as um, uh, 4.6 millivolt uh, because uh, it will uh, give the value uh, it won't give that floating point so we are converting in uh, the value will be integer so we are converting into uh, volt to millivolt so we are multiplying by thousand so this is the code for publishing the data uh, in the mqkt server in the node red then this is the data where we can control the led uh, led from the node red so controlling led from the node red and publishing the pod uh, sensor data to the node red so both are possible now we can verify it whether it is working or not now see here led now this is the tab already we have created so now when it is switched off led is off in real time also same code you can implement there you can switch on your mobile hotspot give your hotspot name and password so that uh, you can control this in the similar way you can control your hardware circuit also so there is no change whatever you are doing now in the simulator same thing you will get it in the hardware also so 4.6 volt so it is in millivolt now you can change that as a millivolt also now it is in volt now i will change this as unit as millivolt done then we can deploy it so it is successfully deployed now see here the voltage is coming as zero volt it is coming now we can verify we can change the pot now see here it is 1.72 volt 1.1 volt 0.185 volt 0 0.5 this is 5 volt so maximum 5 volt it will measure because we have written the code like that we have mapped the value 4095 as 5 volt now in the same way here we can turn on the led so both the tab you can keep it in one single tab also so how we are representing this how you are selecting this um, uh, tab group here so according to that it will be in the tab 1 or tab 2 so anything you can change it here tab 1 i have selected so it is switch and led is the tab 1 suppose i am connecting in uh, selecting uh, uh, here uh, tab 2 means then led will be available in the tab 2 so deploy it we can check the output see here in tab 2 you will get led as well as gauge uh, here you can measure it so somewhere i have done something so okay led i have kept it here switch switch i can change it to output yeah only led only i have changed to tab to now both okay see here so it is off and this is on 
so both we are getting in the same tab we can change the voltage also so simultaneously we are checking both the output so coding is available easily you can write the code and you will get the output corresponding output so these are the code So according to your input and then what is the output you needed, you can change your code easily. In the next video, I will show how to uh, test the Wi-Fi connections and then Wi-Fi scan and then how we can implement that uh, uh, Wi-Fi to this uh, ESP32. Thank you.